Hello Virgo, welcome to my channel Cancer Moon Oracles. My name is Rose and I'm here to bring you another weekly love read. I'm going to dive on in and see what's coming through for you in love and relationship in the upcoming days and week. Of course Virgo, do keep in mind my readings here on the channel are for entertainment purposes only but feel free to hit the like button if you enjoy this reading and it does resonate to your current situation. Um, and if not, guys, feel free to subscribe where you will be notified of when I release a new video here on the platform. Also, too, if you would like to work with me, all the details will be in the show more section just below this video. So feel free to check out the fine print. Um, as you can see, Virgo, I've already laid out the cards. I've simply done this uh, to save time. We will unpack these cards together, but before we do, I just want to remind you to stick around to the very end where I will be drawing extra messages concerning your special person and how they're feeling at this current time towards you. Okay, so Virgo, at the bottom of the deck, you've got the King of Cups. This is the overarching energy um, for you in the upcoming days and week. You could be dealing with a water sign, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces, but the King of Cups is just letting us know that there are strong feelings involved here. Okay, there is real love. There is genuine love um, in this connection. And or if it's not love, then the feelings are very strong here, okay? This is, you're dealing with a situation where you are romantically involved with someone. I'm speaking to a Virgo who is romantically involved with someone or who desires um, a romantic connection to this person. Okay, so we'll see how that fits in with the rest of your read. You've got the Queen of Pentacles, the Four of Swords, the Three of Wands, the Fool in Reverse, the Four of Wands, and the Devil in Reverse. Okay, so with the Devil here, it could be dealing with the Capricorn. With the Fool here, it could be an Aries. And with the Queen of Pentacles, it could be uh, Earth Energy, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. If I haven't mentioned the sign of your person, don't stress, guys. It could just be that your person is embodying these characteristic traits of these archetypes this way. But straight away, um, kickstarting your read, you've got the Queen of Pentacles in reverse. And I feel like this is your energy, Virgo. Um, you're doubting yourself or you're doubting this connection because you're coming out in the reverse. This is, you're in your shadow, Okay, you're in your shadow, Virgo. You could be overanalyzing or overthinking this connection right now. You may be sifting through it with a fine tooth comb. Um, but, but I don't know why, I'm just getting this strong sensation that you are doubting yourself. You're doubting your abilities. You're doubting yourself. And if I'm correct on this, Virgo, then I feel like what's happening here is you're coming in um, and you're presenting as someone who may be overdoing things for your special person, okay? Uh, you may be just, yeah, you're coming in overdoing it, basically, I hope that makes sense. So you're kind of just sort of going out of your way a lot more than what you usually would. You're doing things on an extra level. But I feel here, Virgo, that it's coming from a place of not feeling maybe good enough or just doubting yourself. Okay, so I just want to invite you to maybe just re-look at what your you know, just re-look or rethink your actions here because you've got the Four of Swords, which is a quiet mind, a stillness. So I'm getting here, this, this card is telling me to tell you to maybe just stop. <laughs> stop doing that, right? Big Roses giving you a wrap on the hands, Virgo. Just stop over investing or just overdoing it or if you're just 
doubting yourself, like stop doing that. Okay, just stop overthinking things here because you're giving yourself a headache over this. Mm. You've got the three of wands here. We can see a woman, she's looking out over onto the horizon, possibly waiting for her special person to come towards her. You could be waiting here to hear from someone. Um, they possibly promised you something here and you're still waiting. You're still waiting for this to eventuate. Mm. The three does speak to progress. So you could have something established here with this person and now you're waiting for things to naturally progress to the next level. I see here with the four of wands, you want, you want commitment with this person. You want to build some kind of life with this person here. You want to reach some kind of milestone with this person here. But with the full in reverse, I'm not too sure. Because mm. the full is in reverse. So whatever happened here with this person, I feel that the passion and the chemistry was strong. Uh, it may have started off very, very, like it, it happened very fast. Um, but we've got the full now reverse, so it's delayed. Okay, this is something that possibly moved very, very quickly or someone moved very impulsively or hastily here. But now it's sort of taken a step back. Mm, it's it's slowed down. Maybe that's what's causing doubt. Maybe that's where the doubt is coming in, Virgo. But we've got the devil here. It is in the reverse, though. So I do see someone possibly thinking of untying themselves or detaching from the situation. Okay, I'm not sure if you will detach from this situation, but to me, it feels like, Virgo, you might be in some kind of unhealthy cycle that you need to pull back from, okay? If you're doing this doubting and questioning and maybe overanalyzing, then the devil is reminding you to maybe just stop doing that, okay? Um, because... You're giving yourself, it, it's it's obsessive and it's obsessive compulsive. And um, with the devil in reverse, it's asking for you to, yeah, untie yourself from that bad habit. Like heal yourself from that bad habit. Like just stop doing it. So let's take a look at your person's energy. Let's take a look at the messages that are coming in. Okay, so we've got the hawk spirit. Here, the upward pointing triangle with the line through it does represent air. So you could be dealing with an air sign, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. What I like about the hawk is that this person is thinking about you, okay? This person does have a keen eye on you. So I do feel, Virgo, that you may be overthinking things, okay? And we have their energy is coming through as the bear as well. Okay, the downward pointing triangle with a line through it does represent Earth. So they could be an Earth sign, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. I just feel like this person is a little bit slow right now, slow and sluggish. Okay, the bear moves very, very slowly here or is maybe just sort of waking up and realizing how they're acting or how they're behaving here. But underneath, this person has a very big heart. They're very cuddly by nature. Yeah, I just get beautiful energy coming through these two cards. So 
but the bear moves very, very slowly. So yeah, it probably did start off very quickly here, but the energy has certainly slowed down with this person. It could be that right now they're focused on their material world. They're focused on sort of moving towards some kind of mission or purpose here. Let's take a look and see how they're feeling towards you, Virgo. Spirit angels and guides, how does this person feel towards Virgo right now? I'll take the first card. Okay, so we've got the four of emotions coming through. It speaks of, four of emotions speaks of breadcrumbing. So maybe this person is feeling like maybe you're breadcrumbing them or you're growing bored or you're growing disinterested. If that's the case, that's where they're waking up to themselves. They may be realizing that you are going quiet here with the Four of Swords, that you've stopped talking, that you've stopped investing. Okay, I feel like, yeah, if you're overdoing it in this connection, I feel like it's wise or advisable for you to pull back your energy. Okay, let them come to you. I see here with the Three of Wands, you waiting on them. Let them come to you, Virgo. This is where they will feel like you have grown bored or you have grown disinterested, which will wake this person up. Okay, because they've been moving slowly. They... They've become complacent. Okay, spirit angels and guides. How does this person feel towards Virgo? I'll take the card on the top. We've got the world, cosmos. So they do really uh, think highly of you, Virgo. They see you as the one with the world here. Um Yeah, I feel like that's really positive. Like the world, they think the world of you. They feel like you also perhaps rock their world. Or their world just wouldn't be the same without you in it. And look at this. We've got the Muse of Emotions. So you've got twice in your reading now the King of Cups. Okay, now whether this person tells you or not, deep down this person has strong feelings for you, Virgo. Okay, there's a depth of emotion here um, that I feel maybe not too far in the distant future, this person will open up and reveal um, how they really feel towards you. Um, and I feel this is genuine. Okay, this is there's nothing to be concerned of here. You've even got the lovers underneath, right? which this connection could be with a Gemini, but it is a strong connection nonetheless. It, there is an unbreakable bond here with the lovers. So that's your reading, Virgo. I hope you enjoyed the messages this week. And until next time, take care. Bye for now.